Months ago, I started to release some videos that I wanted to be considered as part of a series called the Dark Web Documentary. It was meant to be me exploring different onion sites through Tor, where I would showcase and shine the spotlight on all the strange and silly things that could occur on those weird corners and crevices of the internet. Talking about ransomware gangs, malware marketplaces, hackers for hire, and all those shenanigans. Uh... I had done that some time ago and I haven't gotten back to releasing videos in that, but I would like to. And that's why I want to get back to this right now. I want to add a caveat though, because the very, very first video that I released in that series was setting up using Tails Linux which is meant to be an anonymous distribution or rendition of the Linux operating systems that is has privacy in mind. However, it is meant to be installed strictly on a USB drive and not accessed through a virtual machine. It's meant to be done with a live USB or live CD or something that can be completely ephemeral and temporary, not in a virtual machine. So I got a little bit of heat in the internet comments and craze, and I thought, okay, let's do this better. A lot of folks suggested using Hunix or WHO, N -I -X. So in this video, we're going to set up Hunix and get back into action. So if you aren't familiar with Hunix, Hunix is a kick secure based security hardened Linux distribution. Its main goal is to provide strong privacy and anonymity on the internet. The operating system consists of two virtual machines, so dedicated virtual machines here, a workstation and a Tor gateway running Debian or GNU Linux. All communications are forced through the Tor network. That sounds great. I truthfully had kind of been postponing doing this because, oh, eh, it's going to be more virtual machines to set up when I had already done that. But honestly, it is super duper easy to go ahead and get started. And that's why I wanted to kickstart and speed run through this video here. So you can find it online at whonix.org. It is, according to their website, the most watertight privacy operating system in the world. You can learn more. Hey, what is Hunix? And that tells us just a little bit about it in the frequently asked questions. And it explains just about everything that I kind of already mentioned, uh, diving in a little bit more into into Tor, the Onion Router, and some of the advantages, etc. One good notion is that it does discuss how is Hunix different from Tails. Tails is a live operating system with optional persistence that can be installed in external drives, such as a DVD or USB. Hunix is meant to be installed inside your existing operating system, which might be running on internal external drives. You can do it in a live mode, but there is no Hunix live ISO at the time of writing. However, that may change in the future. Anyway, we can go ahead and download Hunix, and the website explains it is available on the following platform. Personally, I'm going to end up using VirtualBox. There is a big emphasis on using VirtualBox because it is a free and I believe open source hypervisor or virtual machine runner rather than VMware Workstation. So we could go ahead and download all these things here. You could use different options, whether you want a graphical user interface for the gateway or the text terminal only with a command line interface. Uh, truthfully, I'll go ahead and click on that graphical user interface one and it will bring me to the download link. If I click on this here, that download's going to get started. We'll cruise through that, and I'll get back to you once it's done. But if you don't already have VirtualBox installed and set up, uh, it is worthwhile to go ahead and download that, of course, and uh, update it if you haven't already. So while Hunix is still downloading, I'll go ahead and open up the installer so that I can at least update VirtualBox. I'll click through all these shenanigans in a blind, regular Windows install process. Next, 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 install. Okay, and now that is all done. We can go ahead and launch VirtualBox. Looks like I still have my Tails virtual machine, but I have updated this, and now I am checking with version 6.136, as that is what I have just downloaded off and updated from their website. And now that the OVA file has finished downloading, I'm going to go ahead and actually put that in my regular uh, ISOs location. And you'll notice this is in fact an OVA file. It is not an ISO file. Hunix has already prepackaged and put together the virtual machines for us to use. All we really need to do is double click on it and make sure that we end up opening it with the VirtualBox Manager. And this opens up the import virtual appliance page here. Uh, we can pretty much go with the defaults. There isn't a real need to change a lot of these. It should be working just fine unless you wanted to beef up the RAM and CPUs. I figure four CPUs and four gigs of RAM is A-OK. -okay. We can go ahead and import this and that just needs us to uh, agree to the license uh, terms and conditions. We can go ahead and click agree on that. Gives us a little bit of information on, hey, the amount of RAM that you might need uh, and disclaimers for anonymity and privacy, etc. This is, of course, a research project meant to be for uh, educational purposes and all the stuff that you have to say so you are legal. This will go ahead and import. And notice this created both the gateway and the workstation for us. Now bear in mind the gateway has to be running for you to be able to go ahead and make those outward external communications. For you to be able to go through Tor and go browse wherever you wanted to be with Hunix. I'll click into this, hit enter. 
Give it a bit of time to boot up, and now Hunix is working for me. It gives us some important information about the operating system. Uh, please do not continue unless you understand everything. Not the usual blah, 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 but fact. This is a research project. It is free. Uh, know what you are doing while going through this. Hey, totally. I understand. I get it. I gotcha. I'm vibing. Let's keep going. In this case, it says, which of the following describe your situation? I would like to connect directly to the Tor network. This is kind of what you're usually looking for. Let's go ahead and connect, and then we can keep cruising. Once that is done, we can now go ahead and move this down, go back to our VirtualBox manager, and fire up the workstation. The gateway is going to do its thing, but we can go ahead and start up our workstation. If we wanted to, we could probably make this gateway smaller since we really aren't going to be interacting with it all that often. We'll just go cram this to the side. Really, the workstation is where we want to be. Here you get the same blurb and disclaimer, make sure that you know what you're doing and you understand the implications, blah, blah, blah. Although it is, it does say, hey, it's not just a blah, blah, blah. But seriously, now we're here. Let me hit full screen mode. You can see, oh, we're going to go ahead and wait for our Tor connection. Tor can be a little bit slow since you are bebopping around a bunch of different routers and things to, you know, encrypt and encapsulate and do the traffic stuff that Tor does. Eventually you'll get to our exit node, but it might take a little bit of time. Okay, that finished up, and now it wants to check the system status. It says it's going to happen in the background. It might not take whatever time it needs. But we can go ahead and fire up our web browser over in the top left corner, and you can see we're firing up Tor. This is loading a local file. This is just Hunix splash page here for us. But we could go do an IP check over here, and it's going to bring us to check.torproject.org. Gives us a good notification. Hey, system check is doing its thing. That's A-OK. -okay. Uh, we are using the Hunix APT or app repository. Uh, that will allow us to get any software that we might need along with other packages. Uh, with that said, looking good. We are configured to use Tor. Your IP address appears to be this thing. Oh, however, that's not my real IP address, bear in mind, right? It's going to be carving through Tor. I'm hitting whatever exit node, and hey, A-OK, -okay, whatever. JavaScript is enabled. That is good to know for loading pages, but we are, of course, using Tor in the Tor browser. And just like that, we are ready to rock with Hunix. So, hey, obviously, this is a super quick video. It is just trying to show you just how easy it is to get up and running with Hunix. Uh, it's all made super simple because they've already bundled it into these virtual machines. You can just download and get running in, within VirtualBox. So super quick, super easy, and now we can dive back in to doing some dark web dumpster diving, cruising around in onion sites, and seeing what weird stuff is out there. Bear in mind, I bring this to you for the sake of education. Uh, I think it's kind of fun and interesting to see, oh, what are some of those threats that are out there? I am not a cyber threat intelligence analyst. List. I don't do cyber threat intel, uh, so when you watch some of those, it's just merely for the fact of seeing it and getting your eyes on it for real. Uh, I can't claim to be an expert in any of that stuff because I'm not, and I'll be the first to say that. With that said, I hope you enjoy this video, this series, and more stuff to come. Uh, I love you. I'll see you in the next video. Do all the YouTube algorithm stuff, like, comment, subscribe, you know the drill. Thanks, everybody. I'll see you in the next one.